Well, welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. Uh, we're going to have a lot to talk about today as well. The, the Bitcoin leverage bot just went off. The Solana bot just went off. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the market. And more importantly, starting out with Ethereum on the macro time frame, the weekly time frame, you can see Ethereum has a lot, <laughs> Ethereum, Solana has a lot more room to go. I'd say $100 is a nice round even number. Um, this is on a daily time frame, and you can see that. And a lot of people are wondering, you know, should I hold my Solana a little bit longer? Given the current rally, where could she go? Based off the daily fib, uh, there's just a little bit more left on this rally up to call it 76 bucks. $76 is looking nice in the cards here. And I'm gonna show you my thoughts on the short term breakout. Do I have the guts to hold this trade up to 76 bucks? I sold myself sold myself short yesterday on it. Um, and then the market just rallied to the moon. So what else does that mean? I'm gonna actually pause the bot. Did it go off? It did go off, did it? I'm gonna hold it. Holding that bot, holding that bot with this thought in mind that good old Ethereum is gonna keep rolling higher, rolling higher and higher. And the question is, how much of my order actually got in? $67, that's what happened. So I'm gonna add more, you little punk. Add 50% more. And let her rip and run, let her rip and run, as I'm currently up about uh, $10,000 on this trade. And so why don't I go ahead and just share it with you, by the way. Uh, Mexi, link in the description below. I'm gonna post the trade setup in the Discord as well. So make sure you join the Discord for fun. Just real quick, uh, yeah, up 13% on this trade, not bad. Um, I have another limit order in here at the bottom side of the range, and that is the five minute purple 200. So I'm gonna slowly raise this up. But uh, what you can see here is a bit of a falling pizza with a breakout measure move to the top side of the range. Here's the thing, this thing just keeps going for more and more and more and more and more. And uh, one of my no-nos here, I guess I turned off the bot to get a little more profit. And uh, what happened here is that uh, my bot limit orders in and um, when it limit orders in, essentially what happens if the, mar if the, if the order doesn't get picked up, well, it doesn't get picked up. So uh, the price keeps going and my take profit will take profit on just a little tiny bit of money, little tiny bit. And uh, the next major trend line I am seeing coming in here, if we are gonna push back off of this, which I just sold myself way too short last night. So I'm gonna let this one continue to run and bring our attentions back to what I was talking about on this good old Christmas Eve. Good old Christmas Eve. And am I gonna let this one continue? That is the question, and that's why I get stuck midstream trying to do these YouTubes in a friendly and fashionable light. But uh, what is another trade setup I want to talk to you about? And yeah, when it comes to making hundreds, th hundreds of thousands of dollars versus making a YouTube video, I got to prioritize during the day, as you might imagine. So running the liquidation report on Mr. Solana as we're getting a short minute, a short minute, a short term pullback on the one minute time frame. And um, I've seen this happen before. Yes, we're on the 15 minute time frame. We just pushed up to that last little node here. And I'm really walking you guys through live here, through live. And I'm tempted to just take those profits and run. Take those profits and run, sir. But um, measure move off of that target is to the top side of the range. So maybe I just don't be greedy with it and just move my TP up just to the top side of the range. Maybe the next major wick up there, but gosh, this thing just ripped to the upside. Bitcoin ripped to the upside. Um, I hate to sell myself short again. 
So I will at least let the measure move play out on this. If it don't play out, we'll call it a day. We'll go home with the $10,000 P&L and call it a day. But essentially what's happened to Mr. Solana every time we've had, as we are playing amidst the 3.2 and the 0.5, and that's why I think, you know, one more push on this rally up to that 76 bucks is not out of the cards. Hourly momentum is down. So uh, this is the place to do it. Dang it. Hourly is going to flip down in 23 minutes. We needed to stay up. Stay strong, Donkey Kong. Not back down to our critical level as um, that very likely means you get stopped out, Mr. Mitchell. Stopped out on this trade is not going to be painful, but this one... So we're looking for that one minute yellow 21 to hold. Otherwise, it's going to be a retest of the breakdown level and uh, and then it could go for more. So perhaps taking those profits would have been a better idea. But the way this signal works, it's actually on a 30 second time frame. 30 seconds. 30 seconds is all she needs. Yes, 30 seconds. So what happens is... This gets below 20, sorry, 35 flips white and the stochastic flips to the upside. We'll cross up above 73.23. And what happens is sometimes I miss the signal. That's what happens. Or the signal doesn't fire off. In this instance, it did for the second time. Interesting, it did take a little loss on that one depends on what exchange you are on but currently as momentum flips back to the upside i'll be looking for a quarter percent move in fact it can be up to a half a percent so we can see if this signal pops out as we are live on the stream and um, well essentially i'll be adding to my other position yes i'll be adding here she goes. Come on. Pick it on up, sir. Pick it on up. Buy your own bootstraps. Pop it up there. And see a bit of a late signal. And 30 seconds is a fun time frame, time frame to trade when it comes to... See, and the signal didn't even pop off on that, that one. Bot misfired. Are we going to fire you, bot? And I guess I should just leave it. Leave it be as a bit of a signal misfire. And this is too, guys, too much fun to watch. We could take all day stair-stepping it up and get quite a few more signals. As you can see, this one printing a nice, nice green candles. And usually after a red, one loss, I mean, you can see the last one. After a loss, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the pink arrows are. Oh, look, the bot just fired off. He just fired off. And did the order go through? Is the question. I don't believe it did. I'm going to have to get one in there. Otherwise, it will. Or did I pause the bot? I did pause it. I pause it so, so I could take a higher profit. And that's, in fact, what I'm going to do is if the price pulls back a little bit more here, I think I'm just off that green 55. I will take a little bid, see if she has more to go. 50% in, and I probably should go 100% now. 100% in. Otherwise, no, I just want to, oh, there she goes. There she goes, coming back in. The three blind mice, they will get you every single time on the one second chart. And where is my TP going to be at 73.11? You can see the bot live in action about to fire off a signal. And I better put that PL a little bit higher. Profit and loss. Why don't we at least just target these highs right here? Let's see how that goes. And you're probably wondering, what am I talking about here? Well, well, um, let's see, 73.31. And so here's what I have been noticing about the bot. So this bot is uh, triggered to make a quarter percent on every trade. And what's happening is it should be making about a half a percent. 
So I need to re-gear it up so that the total PNL 0.49 versus 0.25 would be probably a little bit more accurate. 100% it would be more accurate. Let's talk about a mana trade and Bitcoin as I know you guys are all here for Bitcoin, not Solana. And why I'm focusing on Solana right now at the moment? Well, there's a bit of a party to the upside for Mr. Solana Bear. And how's my Bitcoin little chart doing? How's my levered Bitcoins doing? Uh, this is Rune. That looks a little bit better. Matic, something to keep an eye on. Hitting that bearish retracement zone. I, I don't know where we're at on Mr. Matic. Let's talk about it on a daily and uh, cup and handle formation uh, has a target all the way up there, which I got to delete the bot setting really quick. I'm going to use the restroom. Sorry, but a bit of a sloppy stream today. And we did go over this one. Maddox is looking juicy right now as what am I talking about here? Well, the cup and handle about to break out. Daily volatility is not expanding. Let's go out our number one chart. Go back to Matic. Oh my goodness. Is it really coming back down? It is. Just on the one minute, on the one second chart, the bottom side of the range. Following up on our Bitcoin analysis as well. As we did speak about this last week. The weekend trap box, which happy Friday, guys. We're we're going into a Friday and we're talking about the Lisa and Bart Simpson, whoops, the Lisa or Bart Simpson trading patterns, reversal to the upside of the downside over the weekend trap. I should draw those a little bit better. I will one day, I promise. Uh, but here's what I'm talking about. The futures market does close Friday at, I don't know, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 2 p.m., something like that. Till Sunday, Sunday at 2 p.m. And what typically happens over the weekend is people get trapped. Well, I wouldn't call that a bit of a trap. Let's call it a rise. But the point being is we've been tracking the pattern overall. And as long as we close the previous week higher than the last weekend trap box, it's continuation to the upside. That, well, I think Rand is way more entertaining than I am for sure. Way more entertaining. Let's take a look at this trade on Bybit. Falling pizza right there. I think we're gonna tag this trend line, this trend line. There's your higher low silver cross and pump to the upside. Just a little bit of a levered uh, trade to start off the day. The FOMO is real guys. And when you can get access to tools that give you trades like this, Falling pizza, deviation breaks above. This is good for a breakout, guys. This is what I like for cryptocurrency trading. Coins, new narrative. What do you guys think? New coins, new narrative. I kind of want to turn my bot back on out of this trade and let it do the work for me, guys. It's a lot more fun that way. But... Um, Three minute higher low, silver cross. Come on. You want these trades to just happen instantly, but they don't. That's what I like about the 30 second time frame. But unfortunately, that means you got to wait and be patient. All right. I think I had enough of you, Mr. Ran. Let's take a look at the rest of the market as um, Solana is not the only game in town. What are you talking about? Bitcoin consolidating at the top of the range. Ethereum doing the same thing. Still looking for this to break out as a bull flag to the upside. Come on. Come on, sir. And so how do these little falling pizzas uh, typically end? Well, you get the higher low and boom on the one minute time frame took us out of that zone. The five minute also consolidating, getting pushed back at that region. Is that the 618 fib is the question. So from the high to the low, that is the 618. And guys, if we can bust on through just above that 618, it's gonna look very, very good for continuations. Now, notably, we bounced off the 382, which is the 618 in reverse. Um, 
So back below this region, even though my limit order is hanging out down here at the 236, because sometimes what happens, you hit the 786 and you come back down to the 236. Overall, um, I have been expecting this one to do a little bit more to the upside than to the downside. So maybe just grabbing some liquidity on this five minute range. Let's see if we can get the breakout to the upside. Well, we're live on the stream and I'm gonna pop back into Bitcoin land. So we've been talking about our weekly macro target for Bitcoin. We did mark the lows off there. And the high to low target is gonna be coming in at 46,558. 46,558, 552 right there is the 618. Do we get a pop above the golden pocket? Probably. Well, why is that, sir? Why do we get a pop back up into the golden pocket? The question is, do I want to bankroll another 20 to 50 grand on this trade and add to my Solana soul shot? As long as we're holding this support area, we're probably good. Do I have any more left to add on this trade? Are we 100% in? Margin required, available balance 13,000. I want to add more as we have not even hit the 786 yet. Bounce off the 382, 786 is in line, in target. 786 is going to come in right at the top of the range at 7360, roughly 7360. So do we want to go for the full Gambino, the full Bambino, where you get the full measure move to the top side of the range? That's the big question. And if I could get that move today, I would say yes. I would be more than favorable as we're getting another buy signal on the 30 minute uh, on the bot here. So popping it in there, we already profited one on the stream. Let's see if we can go for two. Let's go for number two. And where is our Bybit account? By the way, links in the description for all the exchanges below. Enjoy the match your pleasure. And I do not see my Bybit account anymore. Where did it go? We've got so many accounts open. How do we know where they all are? Ooh, compound hitting 54 bucks, nice. And high block capital says, what? What does it say? Mr. Solana, uh, p &L for Mr. Solana. So the question is, are we gonna pump a little bit more to the upside as there's really nothing in this liquidity zone to the downside? So those first couple of targets inching their ways onwards and upwards, I guess that could work out. How's Bitcoin doing? How's my Bitcoins doing, sir? I think Bitcoin looks like it wants to pop back to the upside. I haven't seen any notifications on my recent bot for Bitcoin, but this is just a three minute bot targeting the top side of the range as everything is getting a shorter term pullback right now. Shorter term pullbacks are fun as long as you know what you're doing. What else is notable to check out today on the charts? Let's just go down the board. Stock market making new all-time highs almost for the year. We are very close to making new all-time highs on this stock market rally. Holy shiz! My Solana is shit in the bed here. Fucking hate when that happens. I really don't like when that happens, sir. Can you give me one more break to the upside, please? That's all I'm asking for as they're cleaning out this liquidity to the downside, you son of a gun. This is right where the higher low comes in. This is it, higher low, 50% quantity buy. We're buying in for more right there. We got us a little more. Stock market cracking out to the all-time highs. Not bad there. Bitcoin about to crack 47.4. Next target up uh, as we had aforementioned. By the way, look at this trend line. It would be coming in beautifully on the next two-week candle to just pop up to 69,000. Bitcoin, why don't you do that for us, okay? Why don't you just climb your way onwards and upwards to the heavens? 
That's where we want to see you. Right in the heavens. Come on, Mr. Solana. Ethereum. Oh, ETH Bitcoin. I wanted to look at that chart today. Professional gap up. We talked about this last week. If the futures market gapped up like that, very likely that uh, the market would continue going higher this week. Let's see about ETH. The measure move on ETH is at 3,300. We are broken out. And we did call the breakout on the daily time frame. had I reminded you. Way back here on this green candle, we said, okay, $3,700 ETH is on the way. It's gonna make us all very happy. Ethereum injective up 5% for the day, broke the down, retested, and this one looks like it could continue for some more. We're gonna make a run at the all time high and then you'll be at a blue sky breakout. Nothing will be stopping this one then, I believe, as uh, fuzz. I cannot believe I did not take those profits. That's what I get for doing a stream here. ETH Bitcoin, uh, we've been talking about this one for some time. Thank for the altcoin party to start. We needed to see a higher low on the daily time frame. We got that higher low rejected. Bit of a fake out, deviation below the bottom side of the range. And now this is the area to hold guys. This is the last line in the sand. So um, as long as that holds, essentially there's a very easy trade setup here. Really, you're, you know, you're long from right here where we're at right now. And I've never had to be so patient in my life. I am not a patient person. Bitcoin 46.7. If we tag that today, how much more can it go, right? How much more can we go is the question. Is it really going to just keep dancing around here? Or are we just going to get the weekly explosion over the weekend for Bitcoin at 46.5 to 49,000? Remember, today is Friday, the end of the week. The daily is going to close like this. Oh, did my Bitcoin bot just went off? Thank God. Only time to buy some Bitcoin. Let's see if that works. If we can get a little buy here. Little by little. I will play you that fiddle. Little by little. As that gapped up. Parting to the upside. Are we at new all time highs for the stock market? Not yet. Likely coming in the near future. As Bitcoin dominance rises, we continue to expect Bitcoin to outperform altcoins. Let's take a look at that Glimmer trade setup. Glimmer, uh, we're looking for a shot up to 49 cents. W intact. First target is going to be 40 cents. I want to get this one, but I'm having trouble finding it. Chain link. Breaking out over the past couple of days. Looks like it's coming for the next high at... 1833. Mr. Neutron, we've been talking about this one for some weeks. It's been very popular in the news. Would like to see it anywhere around 53 cents would be probably the next great buying opportunity right around the 618 after a breakout like this on the four hour time frame. So somewhere around 60 uh, right there. Yep. Uh, GRT breaking out full-fledged party to the upside grt w intact and i'm looking for grt to make a big move up to about 40 cents 40 cents would be the party to the upside and what is going to happen with solana is solana going to give up the ghost here grok i don't want to look at that gas no fetch ai Getting close to the highs. EWT, how's that trade working out? Silent Sleeper, I'm looking for this one to tag up to about 473. And I am surely going to give up on this trade if, if it don't work out. As we did, just put in another lower high on the three-minute time frame for Solana. Bit of a longer stream today. Filecoin looking beefy. I think the better choice here... Um, is not rune rune uh, is probably probably a bit out there maker uh, another sleeper silent sleeper probably going to do very well optimus hit our target optimus prime hit our target to a t next target's going to be 268 for that one shrap 
I would like to get some of this coin. I can't find it on the exchanges I like. Super, super duper man, if you're into the gaming thing. Super cooling off. Uh, after this rally, I wouldn't get involved until we come back to about 49 cents. Pith Network, another big one. I don't know why, I don't know where, I don't know why people love this thing, but Pith Network, apparently they are something to do with real world assets, tokenizing things, layer zero, chain link kind of thing. Um, okay, the mana trade. Mana trade currently up uh, 171%, nothing to write home about, but Here's the target, here's where the stop loss is. Probably a little bit late to get involved on any leverage, but, but sirs and zers, it is time to just be aware. You, you can start to rack up some serious gains with some of these altcoins. I wanna take a look at our Solana trade, which is now down a thousand bucks, was up 10,000. Silver cross on the green 55. Still looking for that bounce up to the top side of the range. Hope we can get it while we're on stream. Solana's been violent to the upside, violent to the downside. Showing you, I'm gonna show you where I wanna pick up my next bag of Ethereum. So I wanna remind everybody that Ethereum is the 10,000 pound gorilla in the room next to Bitcoin. The elephant, Bitcoin or Ethereum is the, is the gorilla. Bitcoin's the elephant, Ethereum's the gorilla. Things like, Lido, uh, Frax, Frax, anything that has to do with staking Ethereum. Is this really Frax? If this is Frax, I'm gonna go buy some right now because it looks very undervalued. What's the symbol, Frax, F-R-X? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go buy this thing. AXL, how's our AXL doing? Well, pumped to the upside, sold off. Wow, look at that. We said the all-time high was gonna get hit on this one and uh, XLR probably gonna do something similar to Mr. Tao Jones, sir. Mr. Tao Jones, where are you? Big beefy daily candle close, biggest daily green candle close of the year. I think I'm gonna buy some more of this one. Bullish engulfing, what the heck happened there? Well, is patience gonna be the virtue of this evening? That is the question for Mr. Solana. Can we get the breakout right now or are you gonna break us down to doggy town and we're gonna buy more? We're gonna buy more. Let's see if I can show you this TP here. Back up to 8,000 on one account. Um, going to move one of my, no, I'm gonna keep it. So do we put the take profit at the 786 or do we the pump? Do we trust the pump to the liquidity zone where the liquidity is? I'm doing one there and I'm gonna leave one open. So here's the difference. Bybit, TP right above the wicks there. Move it a little closer. You know what? This silver cross, low volatility, volume increasing, probably gonna go for more, at least this zone right here. So if this is a continuation play, and even an inverted head and shoulders, you'd expect that move up to the top side of the wick. That's where I want it to go. The question is, do I have the patience to wait for it to get there? The patience to wait. And as you can see, what's happening, profits are there, profits are not there. Profits are there, profits are not there. It's a long, slow, belittling game. And I can't believe I dumped most of my AXL for a profit. I'm pretty sure I did. And see, somebody just pumped that market. Last time we got a big green pump going into the all-time high. Tau. Got a big green candle coming into the all-time high, closed above it. And this thing just launched. How's the sushis doing? Slow grind. Soul BTC looking strong. Where does Soul BTC get? That probably is going to be the question a bit higher. So Seoul probably outperforming Bitcoin for the short term. What is this TIA? Definitely pulling back here, it looks like on the two hour TIA. I don't know if I have the patience for this one, guys, but if the measure move plays out, it'd be a nice profit. I will call it a day. I will take my $20,000 and bank on it. Call it a Friday for today, again, 
Mana target, 58 cents. I think it's pretty clear. It probably goes for more, to be honest. Uh, Sand, I'll give you the last trade setup for Mr. Sand Box. As I was hearing some good things about Sand today. Sand, if you call this a cup, next target on Sand, 53 cents. Does that line up with anything else? I think Sand's about to take everybody's lunch and run. So that's our target on Mr. Sandbox. The W's already hit. I'm going to move into that Sandbox, some of that. We had a great year with Sandbox last year. All right, well, I think that's it for me today, guys. We went over Sand. We went over Super QBT. I don't know what that is, but QBAL. Looks like it's about to rocket ship bottom of the range don't know what that is robot i do like this one for a buy 13 cents back down at the 236 i'm gonna go to my grave on that one i think it's a good move i do like it i do like it so getting back to our trade it's continuing to march up the boxes of peace and prosperity and death and despair eighteen hundred dollars profit on this one should I at least move my stop? Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna take it. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep letting it run. Solana, one of the strongest games in the market, and I'm not selling myself short. I'm at least gonna get that wick right there, even if we consolidate a bit more. That's the plan, at least for now. All right, long video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I missed you guys yesterday. You know, if you got a question or a coin you want me to cover in the chat below, I guess I'll do one last one for you today, Jim. Good old AKT. That's Ton. Good old gold. Actually, gold short working out. Nice gold short down to the green box of peace and prosperity. We did say likely not going to break the highs. Um, theta, another beautiful one. Probably going to pop up to about 173. PYR. Getting stuff back. Um, ooh. KT. AKT. This is, yeah, still pretty much my analysis for AKT. I think um, probably something like that. 224. Four hour consolidation. Cup and handle back. Uh, yeah, above 195. Probably going to make that move up to two. Call it 222. 222. All right, Mr. Solana. Are you giving up the ghost here? She went right above that last wick, but that's what keeps happening, right? So we took out that wick, down. This one, down. So we're just banging out one liquidity zone at a time, but the thing is, this is not much liquidity. One bang at a time. That's 126, one to one ratio, 45 short liquidation, 355 longs. So to me, um, you know, there, when it does pull back, it's going to be ferocious, to say the least. Ferocious, tumultuous. The pullback will be nasty and painful. So again, you can see this as a bit of an inverted head and shoulders. The me measure move target off that is going to be a little bit higher. So shoulder, head, shoulder. Do we have the volume signature for it? you'd want to see I think more volume on that candle all right I'm done talking for the day roll bits my best pick of the day Nakamoto games probably decent Casper probably over overvalued IMX I do like this one for continuation probably going to get stopped out here on the first pass but any kind of a higher low uh, looking for that one to continue higher a DX just had a big unlock if this one can hold trend at 293, looking for a big move up to about 713 on that one. Um, this last high over here. How's our Coinbase doing? Coin, smoking to the upside. Compound, slowly and steady, Ray wins the race. This is a conservative bet here. Uh, still looking for this one to head up to about 100 bucks. CRV, finally breaking out, took so long. And up to the target. Uh, 77 cents and where's the ultimate target for sand 4236 coming in at 80 cents all right that is it for today probably going to reject off the green 55 on the first pass 
That being said, I hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Take care.